Afternoon folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. And what we're gonna do today is we're going to work on a small DIY project to begin with. And this video is sponsored by Field Company Cast Iron. They make some really nice US made cast iron. It's got really nice fit and finish, lightweight, ergonomic, and very durable. And they suggested that we shoot a video that shows how to make a DIY grill system in your backyard. And you can make this system on any flat surface that you choose. It could even be a piece of plywood on saw horses if that's what you wanted to do. Today at the school, what we're going to do is we have a raised fire altar here that we use that's made from four by fours filled with gravel and dirt. So we're gonna use that for our flat surface. Now we're going to use fire brick that you can pick up at any local block supply or lumber yard, and they're not very expensive. We've got less than $50 in fire brick here that we're going to use. And the way we're going to make this is, generally speaking, it's going to be a trough that you build your fire into. So yes, you could build a fire on any flat surface like this and you could cook on it, but what we're trying to do is create thermal mass and a concentrated area of heat to cook on top of with our cast iron. So let's get this thing built real quick with the block and walk through that. Then we'll talk about possibly adding a grill grate to that or just cooking across those two blocks at the top with our cast iron over a trough of coals. Stay with us. All right, so for the base of this grill, we're going to take these fire brick and get them on a good level surface, and we're going to lay five across, and this is going to create the bottom of our grill surface where we're going to build our fire. And we're going to stack five across here and get them evenly spaced and nice and level. And then we're going to come across like this on both sides to create that trough. So we've got two layers deep on the bottom. We've got a row standing up in the back and two bricks to stabilize that. The last two bricks that we have are going to be on the side here. And we'll get that all shored up and even. Now, the fire we've built inside here, and if we want to use a grill grate inside here, if we find the right size, and we just happen to have one that fit it perfect from a scrap yard, we can also use a grill grate inside like this, or we can just cook straight across here with our cast, but this gives us an easier surface to be able to put smaller pots and pans if we choose to so, do that. In bushcrafty fashion, we're gonna go ahead and start this fire using a tinder bundle and some smalls here. Again, we don't have to get too fancy with this fire right off the bat because we're trying to build a coal bed anyway. We're stacking this stuff on top and then feeding the sticks in is not gonna hurt anything. Now we could use regular charcoal briquettes with this, but hell, that wouldn't be bushcrafty at all. And we don't wanna do that. So we'll just make a mess instead. Get this broke up really good and get some surface area here. There we go. Now we can get after this dude.
going all in on this dude right off the bat here. The confidence in my fire lay. All right, so we put this grill grate on top now. We got a good hot bed of coals in there. And we're going to take our field cast here and get some lard melted in this bad boy. Get it on top there, and then I'm going to bring in my guest host to show us how to cook an awesome meal in this bad boy. Welcome back, guys. Dave Canterbury, Self Reliance Outfitters, and the Pathfinder School. Back with my buddy, Kevin Baxter from Salty Dog Outdoors. Check out his YouTube channel if you haven't seen it. Awesome stuff. Zero filters. That's beside the point. Now, what we're going to do today is Kevin's going to show us one of his scout recipes for making what he calls howlers. Kevin, talk us through that. No problem. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to take these smoked sausages here and we're going to cut a boat out of those, make them kind of like a little potato boat. We're going to stuff that with cheese and wrap that in bacon, pin the bacon on with some uh, toothpicks and uh, deep fry them. Deep fry them. So we got lard on the grill plate already. In the cast, are we hot yet? Still melting, okay, good. So we'll be ready shortly. We got time to make up some howlers then to go in. Oh yeah. In the meantime. Yeah, plenty of time. Let's do it. All right. Get a knife, I'll get a knife. We'll get after it, how about that? So you're getting on the side there, so you're cutting a V out of that dude, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. If you can't find the other side of your V, that's a problem, isn't it? And then you're just peeling that dude out, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, my V's are not as good as yours, obviously. Because I got a mess on my hands over here. Yeah, cut her out some more. There we go. I'm not too bad off. Depends okay. on how, how much cheese you want in there. Not as pretty as yours, but it's not horrible bad. Now what? Bacon? Mm. Bacon. Ooh. And we're wrapping this. Yeah, wrapping it all around. All right. There's a finished product. Oh, nice. Okay. If I drop this in the ashes, it's not a big deal, though, eh? Not for me. I wouldn't think so either. Okay, good. Ready to rock and roll? That's loaded up pretty quick. All right, man. Let's do it. So what do you just drop them in there? Just drop them in there. Let them fry for about three to five minutes. Try not to flash each other. Man, I reckon. You get that on you, it'll leave a mark, wouldn't it? It will. Now what if we ain't got enough oil in there to get them in there? Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Do them yeah, okay. in another load. Okay. Look at that. Money shot. All right. All right, so my buddy Kevin from Salty Dog Outdoors is going to show us his special recipe for dipping sauce. This, this is a complicated one. Yeah. Mayo. Duke's mayo. Duke's mayo. Is there any other? I just want to reiterate that fact. Okay, okay, sounds good. And hot sauce to taste. Texas Pete's. This is Texas Pete's. Chalula will work just as good? Chalula will work just as good. Okay. I'm going to use my patented bushcraft to stir. Nice. Get that mixed in really good. Oh, man. Ooh, son. It's going to be good, guaranteed. All right, so here's where we're at. Looking pretty good. What do you think there, salty dog? I think we're getting pretty close. Do a little sampling. Okay, man, let's do it. All right. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. Golly. All right, so we got some finished product here. Got the special secret sauce. Nothing left to do but the taste test. What do you think, Talk the Dog? I think it's time to do it. Let's do it, man. Yeah. 
sliver off of this bad boy. Look at that. Man, oh man. Way to go. Gotta have the special dipping sauce. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. What are you thinking? I could eat about 20 of them bad boys. Let's make 20 more then. Let's do it. All right, guys, like I said, it's just a real simple kind of DIY project you could do to cook outside. We're using Field Company cast iron, as I said, but you could cook with any outdoor cookware that you generally use with this DIY project. I would recommend you go check out Field Company cast iron. They make some really, really nice stuff. It's innovative. It's engineered well. It's ergonomic, like I said, and the fit and finish is second to none. I appreciate you joining me out here today with my buddy, Kevin Baxter from Salty Dog Outdoors. Again, check him out on YouTube. No filters, no bars. He's up here. Cigar and whiskey chat. That's right. Cigar and whiskey, whiskey talks. That's Cigar and whiskey talks. That's Sorry about that. You're right. Again, we appreciate your views. We appreciate your support. We thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business. Follow our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back to another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.